Hi, my name is James and I'm a representative here at Open Source Steel. And today we're going to be talking about our molecular sieve kit. Now, prior to assembly of our kit, you're going to want to have two adjustable crescent wrenches, as well as a protective dust mask for all the dust that's going to be coming off our beads when we load it in. Now let's take a look at the parts of our kit here. The main body is a three by 12 inch tri-clamp spool with a three inch tri-clamp to three eighths compression fitting cap sitting on top. Securing those two together, we have our double bolted high pressure tri-clamp with a screened mesh gasket to keep the beads nice and contained inside the vessel. On top of our cap here, we've got our 3 8 compression fitting ball valve with a port connector securing the ball valve to the lid here. On top of the ball valve are 3 8 JIC to 3 8 compression fitting. Now, make sure that you get all the nuts hand tight before you apply the wrench in this area. When you're tightening down the port connector, that will only require one quarter of a wrench turn. For all other compression fittings that we sell, you're going to want to go ahead and tighten those one and a quarter. Now flipping the unit over, that's when we're going to go ahead and apply our seed bead with our protective mask on. Now keep in mind that we're going to assemble this cap the same way we did the other side. Another thing to note is that all of our fittings are nice and vertically aligned as well as our high pressure tri-clamps are nice and straight together. Now, turning this unit straight up, you'll notice that all of our brass nuts are on the right side for easy tightening and easy access. That should complete your build for the molecular sieve, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is James, until next time, we'll see you.